Native American culture is filled with deep and rich legends that have helped shape the diverse and extraordinary culture they possess today. Through these legends, indigenous people have been able to pass down valuable lessons and spiritual values to future generations. In addition to Native Americans, America has hosted various legends. Today, together, we will take a look at some of the most interesting American legends. Enjoy the journey. Skinwalker Derived from the Navajo culture, skinwalkers are evil witches capable of transforming into animals, controlling other living beings' minds, or changing their appearances. For the Navajo people, witchcraft is a routine aspect of life, long ingrained in their culture, history, and traditions. Witches coexist with humans as mortal beings, not supernatural entities. While healers utilize these powers to heal and aid community members, witches use their spirituality to harm others or bring bad luck. Occasionally, respected healers and spiritual guides choose the path of evil, evolving into skinwalkers. Roaming freely among the tribe by day, they secretly transform into other creatures as nightfalls. To become a skinwalker, one must first complete challenging and diabolical tasks. Upon completion, individuals gain supernatural powers, including the ability to transform into animals. They often appear as coyotes, wolves, foxes, cougars, dogs and bears, but they can take any animal form. They later wear the skins of the animals they transform into. The belief holds that animal skulls and horns worn on their heads enhance their power, they choose which animal to transform into based on the skills needed for a task, such as speed, strength, endurance, stealth, claws, or teeth. Therefore, Navajo members consider wearing the pelt of any predatory animal, except for sheep and deer, a taboo. Blamed for numerous hardships and tragedies, including disease, drought, crop failure, and sudden deaths, over many years, skinwalkers were considered the root cause. Even minor or individual issues like storms during tribal dances, dwindling love between couples, farm animal deaths, and onset of misfortune were often believed to be the work of a witch. White Giants There are numerous Native American legends speaking of unique white giants that once roamed our world. These giants stood around nine feet tall and were among the most powerful races that existed. According to the tales of the Choctaw tribe, these white giants resided in what is known today as Tennessee. However, before them, the land was owned by giants named Naholo, who battled with the ancestors of the Choctaw people. These giants were hostile against the Choctaw tribe and were also cannibals. The Comanche tribe living in the Great Plains also claimed to have come into contact with these white giants. According to Comanche legends, the white giant race was strong, brave, and wild. The giants were skilled craftsmen and built lively, beautiful cities. However, they were destroyed by the Great Spirit as they forgot the importance of justice and mercy. The Navajo legends describe the white giants as a superior race, specialized in mining, and ruled over all surrounding communities. They had fortresses all over America, and no rival race could stand against them. According to stories, the giants met two ends, one where they were destroyed by an unknown power, and another where they reached heaven. The indigenous Manta people of Peru claim that the giants arrived in large ships and began to conquer the region. They were enormous creatures with plate-sized eyes and robust limbs. On the other hand, their sexual habits were repulsive, leading to their extinction. Ludwig the Bloodsucker In the 1800s, New York was a very dangerous place where all kinds of criminals roamed the streets but none were as infamous as bloodsucker Ludwig. From the mid to late 19th century, among Manhattan residents, a small, hairy vampire named Ludwig, who targeted local bars, began to gain notoriety. 
According to legend, Ludwig was only a meter tall, incredibly hairy, and resembled a dwarf. Unlike the classic Dracula, who heavily relied on his sexual allure to enthrall his victims, Ludwig had to adopt a very different approach. He was too short and ugly to seduce women. Also, he was too weak to handle an adult and fully sober man, so he targeted local drunks who were thrown out because of a bar fight. He would hide inconspicuously, and at the first opportunity he would slash the victim's throat and drink their blood. Hook Years ago, late in the night, a young couple were driving on a road surrounded by forested areas. Suddenly, they heard a scream, and thinking someone was in trouble, they pulled aside. The young man got out of the car and began to move towards the direction of the sound. His girlfriend, left alone in the car, waited for a while, but her boyfriend was not coming back. Deciding to distract herself, she chose to listen to some music. When she turned on the radio, she heard an emergency report about a patient who had escaped from a nearby mental hospital. The whereabouts of the hook-handed patient were unknown. As the news ended, she felt a squeaking on the roof of the car. She poked her head out of the window and saw the hook-handed man holding her boyfriend's severed head. Cursed Statue When General Felix Agnes passed away, a bronze mourning angel statue was placed beside his grave. Even during the day, the statue was a frightening figure, resembling a person frozen in grief and horrific pain. However, at night, it was incredibly terrifying. The veil over its head seemed to cover its face until someone approached it. The statue was so realistic that if you were not careful, it seemed its arms could really stretch out and grab you. It did not take long for rumors to engulf the town and surrounding countryside. The statue, nicknamed Black Aggie, was said to be haunted by the spirit of a woman lying underneath. The statue's eyes would turn red at midnight, and anyone making eye contact would instantly go blind. If someone sat on its lap, the statue would come to life and crush the person to death. Even some nights it was said that the spirits of the dead would rise from their graves and gather around the statue. According to the legend, one night two friends take a young man who wants to join their cool group to the cemetery. The supposed initiation ceremony would take place here. The new kid sits in front of the eerie statue and suddenly events take a deadly turn. Seeing grey shadows beginning to gather around the boy, the two friends rush forward to save him. The kidnapped boy disappears in the statue's lap amidst screams. The night watchman, hearing the screams, runs to the statue and finds the young man's lifeless body. Whether the event occurred or not, testing its truth does not seem very wise. Chippy For centuries, various cultures have expressed the desire and initiative to communicate with the deceased. While some cultures are thought to reach out to relatives or friends for spiritual healing, others are believed to contact the deceased to learn something known to them in life. Members of the Narragansett tribe held a similar belief, referring to this as Chepi. According to legend, Chepi is the spirit of a person sharing knowledge. In Native American belief, it was common to summon Chepi to gain information to defeat an enemy or seek revenge. Legends say that only a spiritual medicine expert could reach Chepi, and Chepi conveyed information through dreams or visions. Similar stories have emerged from other Native American tribes. However, some stories specify that Chepi is a ghost or entity appearing as a deceased person. It is said that to communicate with Chepi, one must have advanced knowledge about the spiritual world and perform certain special rituals. Dogman In 1887, two lumberjacks from Michigan encountered a horrifying creature in the depths of the forest. Standing at two meters, the creature appeared to be an incredible hybrid with a human body and a dog's head. This was just the first of many encounters with the Michigan Dogman. 
In 1938, a man fishing by the riverbank was attacked by a pack of wild dogs. He managed to scare most of them off by firing his gun into the air. However, one seemed unaffected by the gunfire, standing on its hind legs and staring at the man before turning and walking away. Every decade, the creature reappears in the Michigan countryside. On the seventh year of every decade, it howls horrifically in the night, frightening all the animals and driving them from its territory. This allows it to hunt humans without competition from other predators. To this day, people continue to rep Hibernating family. In 1887, a local newspaper in northern Vermont published a strange story. The tale was about a poor family struggling to escape the approaching winter. Living in a mountainous area with very little food at hand, the family decided to freeze some members until spring. Six individuals, generally the elderly and weak, were sedated, with a special potion and once unconscious were surrendered to the outdoors, freezing cold. The cold Vermont air slowly weaved its spiel, and the bodies froze. Beneath the glowing full moon, in a short time, all six turned pearly white. After the freezing process, the family members were kept in boxes in the cold for four months. When spring arrived, they were placed in steam baths and began to thaw. Within a few hours, they were fully revived, completely shaking off the drowsiness of the winter sleep. Coleman There are two different stories told about the terror of Charman, also known as Coleman. Let's start with the most known one. In 1948, a devastating forest fire ravaged the town of Ojai, California. A father and son were trapped in their cabin. Despite being severely burned, the son survived. Driven mad by the events, the boy began to skin his burned father with a knife, hoping it would save him. When the authorities arrived, the boy was gone, and the father had been horrifically murdered. While it remains a mystery where Charman is today, many claim that he still hides somewhere in the forest, killing anyone who sees him. The second version of the story also takes place in 1948. Again, in the town of Ojai, a man and his wife were trapped in their cabin during a large fire. The man managed to escape the fire, but his burns were so severe that he was left immobile. Hiding in a place not reached by the flames, the man could hear his wife screaming for help, but there was nothing he could do to save her. Witnessing his wife burn to death, and experiencing the pain of the burns drove the poor man insane, transforming him into the horrifying monster now known as Chama. Thunderbird The Thunderbird, or Guk Gurultusukushu, is a mythical character found in many Native American legends. According to the legends, the Thunderbird is so large that one of its feathers must be folded in half, to fit perfectly into an arrow quiver. Moreover, these creatures are so powerful that they can easily carry a whale in their talons. Many legends depict the Thunderbird as giving harsh punishments to humans who exhibit morally wrong behaviors. Its wrath is described as something to be avoided at all costs. In one story, the giant predator turned an entire village into stone for their bad behavior. The Thunderbird is known to give life by feeding life forms on Earth and providing the necessary rains for their survival. However, these beings can also destroy the Earth with wind, floods, drought, and fires. Besides its physical arrangement of the elements, it is considered a noble spirit protecting people from evil spirits. Some legends even claim that it could be a distant dear woman. Known as Deer Lady, the Deer Woman is a shape-shifting creature in Native American mythology. Legends say she can appear as an old woman, a beautiful young girl, or a deer. In some cultures, she is described as having a human torso with deer legs. Associated with love and fertility, this creature is generally seen as harmless, though she has a ruthless side, especially towards men. 
It is said that the deer woman can be seen at the end of a trail or behind a bush, attempting to allure men as a beautiful woman. By the time men realize she is not a natural woman, it's already too late. Some Native American tribes are said to first look at the feet of women they encounter in the forest. Other stories and traditions see the sighting of the deer woman as a sign of personal transformation or a warning against potential events in one's life. According to some cultures, the deer woman loves to dance and often joins group dances unnoticed. Give Back My Tale In rural Virginia once lived an old woodcutter with his three dogs. Going hunting, the woodcutter caught only a rabbit at the end of the day and fed it to his dogs. Deciding to sleep to forget his hunger, the old man woke up in the late hours of the night and saw something strange watching him. This creature, slightly larger than his dogs, had thick brown fur, pointed ears and bright red eyes. Panicked, the man grabbed a knife and began to swing at the creature, cutting off its tail. As the creature screamed and fled the cabin, the old man decided to cook and eat the cut tail. The next night, he heard a demonic voice from outside the cabin. Give me back my tail. Every night, losing sleep from the same voice, the old man one day gathered his courage to confront the owner of the voice and was never seen again. Red Dwarf Fort Detroit was built in 1701 by the French explorer Antoine Lomé. Shortly before this, he met a fortune teller who warned him about a strange red dwarf. The dwarf, a shy but powerful creature, inhabited the forests near the fort. He was warned never to belittle or offend it. When Larmet eventually encountered the dwarf, in fear and frustration, he pushed it with his stick. He never saw the dwarf again, but from that day on, both he and the Detroit settlement were cursed. It's believed that seeing the dwarf brings bad luck, and indeed whenever a rumor emerges of the red dwarf being sighted, a disaster occurs in Detroit. The last event happened in 1976. People who saw the dwarf climbing an electric pole, Mr. King it for a child, began to shout for it to come down. The dwarf fell and vanished after giving them a look. The next day, an ice storm left 400 chin. Detroit residents without electricity. Which of the American legends mentioned did you find the most intriguing? Although we call these stories legends, could there be a possibility they are true? Share your thoughts in the comments. Stay tuned for more fascinating topics. See you in the next videos.